Loin d'abord. Surprise. Okay, guys, a little uh, weekend project thing. So what you need first is a piece of these. Uh, you can buy these at Target. It's those swimming pool styrofoam or foam, you know, tubes. Basically, it's a big long, long one of these, and I just cut off a little section of it. Now, um, I'm going to do this video in sections. So this is the first section. So this is what you start off with, and then you're going to cut it, and I'll show it to you after it's been cut. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like after you. Uh, after I cut it down. Uh, basically I used a bread knife, went through and just cut it. It was easier to cut it uh, long ways in one swoop and uh, a little bit straighter than going through and trying to keep straight and stuff. So um, I used a re regular just little serrated bread knife and uh, cut the sides off and got it to the, the dimensions that I really wanted. So um, that's this part. So it's all cut down and uh, we'll show you the next. Okay, what you're going to need next is a uh, piece of material. I have a piece of canvas here. Uh, this actually used to be a, uh, an old backpack that I recycled. Um, so, uh, just cut it up into pieces and um, actually recycle in that. You could use anything you want though. You could even get a, a bandana or something like that if you wanted to use that kind of material. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that it folds inside and it wraps around completely around the, uh, the foam and uh, covers it completely and then what you're going to do is you need to get some uh, nylon thread this is some heavy thread and then uh, a thimble and your sewing needle and then you're going to go ahead and start sewing this now what you want to do is you want to make sure that it fits right first before you cut anything and this fits pretty good and you're gonna find, you know, your nice edges and stuff, and you wanna pull it over so it overhangs a little bit. And then you're gonna go ahead and start sewing it in. Now, I suggest that uh, you sew the pieces when you sew them together and stuff. What you could do is you could match them up and then sew them in first, and then uh, place the two back inside to close it up. And then you're gonna close up your edges on the other side and sew it all up but I'll show you what it's look, what it looks like uh, when it's all done so I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing this up okay guys and we'll go from there. there's a little video of what I have so far um, so what I did was I seamed or I sewed around this outer edge doesn't look too good right there but hey it's alright um, and uh, just this one side's done right now I have to get the other side done so no, so no seamstress, just <laughs> just a uh, little, you know, like I said, a little sewing. So um, it's coming along. So that's just a little quick little update video. Um, went through and, like I said, cut this edge in. No, sewn this side to this side, clamped it down, pulled it over, then started sewing this edge, and then this one, just regular little loops and stuff. Um, so you can just sort of get a rough idea of what it's looking like. So, I'll give you another update in a few minutes. Okay guys, most of the sewing's already done. You can see here, it's not the prettiest, but it's pretty clean. Uh, just went along the outer edges and fixed it real nice. Okay guys, this is what so I've decided to do. Um, I had this sort of nylon strap shell holder that I picked up at Walmart. And uh, it was only like three bucks, I think. But what I'm doing is I'm mounting the uh, are sewing the the pad onto the, the strap and what I did was I sewed it on both ends and I'm gonna mount it on the other side too sew it on both ends and then afterwards I'll come in and clean it and stitch it to the middle and stuff but I want to make sure that it fits take it off do it put it back on and then on the other side it sort of looks like this with uh, my shells I'll still be able to take them out but uh, it'll allow me to have it mounted really tight and really firm on there and uh, hold it really Okay guys, here it's all done. Not too bad. Simple, easy little fix it. Um, maybe do a little bit more sewing just right here. But uh, it's pretty much done. So that's the uh, cheek rest for my uh, Mossberg 590. Thanks for watching.
Please subscribe. Have a good one. Be safe.